Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I am back with my Happy Planner, which is my garden journal. And um, I love keeping a planner as a garden journal. It helps incredibly. I'm also back with this gorgeous DEK kit. And this kit is called Denim and Daisies. And I just love it. I thought it was so appropriate for this particular planning, you know, planner and planning session. I love the daisies. Look at the flowers in the vase. So it has a gold foiling. It is so pretty. It has the banners and the eyelet scallops and the half scallops and the work. And then look at all the um, uh, decorative stickers. I love those. And then here's the sidebar. So pretty. Love, love, love. And then here's the checklist with daisies. So sweet. And then um, glitter headers and um, pre-done, you know, already labeled headers as well as functionals and date dots. I'm going to go ahead and use this for my date dots. If I, and I may do the monthly, we'll see how my, my phone's going to hold up and yeah, we'll go from there. But so I've got everything pulled and in this planner, um, I have to label the tags because this was an undated planner. So I absolutely love undated planners. I don't know that I will purchase, um, this kind again but we will see and um, but I mean for right now it's doing the job beautifully and I'm very thankful so yes hey sweetie can you turn on the alarm please thank you the bells thank you sweetie um, okay so this is how this works and I'm gonna come back and I'll do the monthly okay and then I'll do this next week so I'm gonna start with this next week because that's where my head is at right now okay and I may have to come back and do a separate video of the monthly which probably is what I'm gonna do okay so here we go <laughs> sorry we've got lots of stuff going on we've got mowing going on outside it's pitch black um, hold on one sec did the gate get closed over there sweetie who didn't lock it you or him Okay, we need to lock that. Okay. All right, so here we go. All right, now I'm getting everything done here. So I have a little light here because it's gotten dark out. And I wanted to be sure to get it so that you guys could see everything. Hold on, let me go this way. So it is really kind of dark out. And the sun went down earlier. The sun was shining in. So you know how that works. <laughs> so I want to start over here. Um, I love the girls. I think they're so pretty, but I think I love starting with this one and the sidebar, and then I also love to use this. So here we go. So um, I am going to use this for the weekly and the monthly. So to show you kind of how you can stretch them out, because in here, in this planner, I do not overly decorate or plan because I use it... Um, it's more of a journal, so I need more place to write. And so that's really kind of my focus. So I think I'm gonna go with this portion right now and just have fun. So we've had a busy day. Um, we're still on Sunday. I'm still planning it, it's Sunday. Uh, we have had, oh, interesting, interesting things happen. So I'm um, hoping for some more routine on Monday. <laughs> between lack of cell service and, you know, flooding and all kinds of stuff going on. It's so good to have this maybe over. I don't know. We'll see. But we have definitely had our fair share of craziness this weekend. But um, in flooding without phones, that is just very interesting, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> so, but we still have the guinea chicken side we're calling her birdie and um she was entertainment for all <laughs> of course she loved being the center of attention too so i mean i i don't want to sound silly but hey guinea chicks love attention too so she um definitely gets lots of snuckles and you know petted and all that good stuff so she um, i'll try to get some pictures up this week on instagram she is she chases a string she's she's so funny um of course you know she thinks that string's a worm so you know that's what that's about but um it is really sweet to see her 
enjoy herself. And uh, just a really, really fun um, project here. My husband's hoping that if we have it inside, will it do better? You know, will it be more tame? Guineas tend to be free spirits, and they very rarely are coop, but not all coop. And um, we've had guineas in the past that would not coop, and they slept in trees. And, um, you know, so, but she is going to be, hopefully she eats from your hand, you know, the whole thing. So hopefully she'll be a little bit more tame. We're going to see. So let me get these done really quickly, the date dots. So I think I'm just going to come, hmm, just go above. Why make it hard? <laughs> oh, goodness. So, and we were trying to get car things done. And wow, what a weekend to not be able to get it done. So, tomorrow I will be on the phone all day trying to get things settled. Um, yeah. Oh, goodness. So, and probably on Monday I'll be on the phone with the phone company. And we will be telling them... <laughs> this played out. Did not play out well. Okay. Because it's my garden journal, I don't use any of these. I don't use my functionals at all. So, and then, so let's go ahead and do the sidebar. So, I love this. I think, chamomile tea, I think I'm going to start with that. So, or daisy tea. I think it looked, I mean, in theory, it's chamomile tea, but um, it looks like they're putting daisies there. But I um, will think of my chamomile tea. I'm growing chamomile in a lot of different places this year to see where it grows best so we can have more tea to put up. Um, we didn't get hardly any last year. I was very disappointed. But this year, we're trying new things. So, And that's the beauty of having a garden. You just have to stay focused. Don't give in. Just keep trying. So, all righty. Now, in this particular kit, I won't use everything. I won't use the headers. I'll save those for other uh, planners, other journals, things like that. So, and I got that completely crooked. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, so we'll have all kinds of goodies going on. Um, yeah. Okay, so I've got that. And I'm going to put, maybe not green, I guess I'll go with the daisies. So we do have daisy bulbs that were um, planted along one of our fence lines. And they came up for years and all of a sudden they just quit coming up. So I don't know exactly what happened. Um, I have not done a lot with bulbs, um, planting bulbs. I've had the indoor bulbs, but, you know, I do not have experience with the outdoor bulbs. So um, I have planted some this year and we have some more to plant on the porch and yeah, but um, with all this rain and whatnot, we've definitely really focused on the um, gardens more than we have anything else. So, you know, but we'll see. Okay, so that is kind of a decorated sidebar. And I'm trying to see what I want to put down here. And I'm not sure. Maybe I'll put a checklist for going out and taking care of certain things out in the garden. I think that'll be perfect. Here we go. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, anyway, so here's all that. And speaking of the garden, my daughter just made me a salad from the garden, and it's yummy. So thank you, honey. Um, so I think I'm going to decorate a little bit with some of these. And yeah. So, how are things going in your garden? Are you growing a garden this year? And if you're not, it's never too late to plant a garden. And you just have to look at the different, you know, what grows when on your property or at your house or in your backyard, whatever, wherever you are. So, um, don't let people tell you, oh, it's too late. You can always plant a garden. Um, there's flowers you can plant. There's, of course, all kinds of herbs. Herbs are the easiest things to grow, to eat, to add to your cooking, to however, you know, don't, 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 don't let anybody ever tell you, you can always plant a garden, okay? Um, I think it's just a really important thing for people to know. I think people have the wrong idea sometimes about what you can do and when, and you don't need to listen to that. You just, you know, read what is 
current in your state and your growing area. So every every area has a growing, you know, region, so to speak. So, you know, just make sure that you're finding out what will work in your area. And that'll be good. And yeah. So I am going to finish this up because I hear my husband tromping around. That must mean he's coming in soon. So, all right. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do these two just right here together. I'll save that for the, um, for the main, the, uh, what am I trying to say? A little bit of the monthly. There's, there's what I'm looking for. Oh, goodness. But isn't that pretty? It just looks like such a picturesque place. He's got flowers in his pocket and he's going to give them to her. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so I think I'm going to save this for the monthly. And I think I'm going to save this. I think I'm going to save this for the monthly too. Um, yeah. So I've got this one of these pretty girls. So I think I'll put her over here. Um, oh, I already have the blonde girl, so I'll save her for the monthly. Pardon me. <laughs> and I'll use this one. So, I'm about done. This is my weekly. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, the reason I'm going to put her here is, guess what? I don't have to water because we had so much flooding rain. So, there is my first full week of May planned, ready to go. Um, I will list what I'm going to be planting. I've got some seeds I want to put in this week. I've got to get a ton of lettuce and greens harvested. Um, yeah, and we've got some plants my husband just bought at Startlings, and I'll get those in this week in the herb garden, and that'll be that. So be sure you watch my Instagram and look at all the beautiful different things that are growing in our garden, and tell me what you think. Um, I love getting feedback from y'all. I love hearing your thoughts. I love... I love sharing what's happening, and um, it is just a blessing for sure, something that we found as a result. I mean, I've always had some level of gardening, whether it would be a porch, you know, front porch garden or things like that, and in in days in the past, I did have a few, like, big herb gardens in the ground and things like that, but um, since we've been here, we've pretty much done that. We've done a big, huge garden in the back, but I did not do it. My husband did it. Our kids were still home, so they were helping with that. Um, I'm not going back there. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying because we have a little bit of a snake issue. So, and actually my husband in the middle of the pouring rain Friday night pulled a, um, what you call a rat snake or a king snake. I'm not sure which out of the gutters. They were blocking our gutters and flooding our basement. So, and of course, those snakes are a good snake because they eat the yucky snakes like the rattlesnakes. But I don't care when he comes through that front door holding the snake up, showing me, I'm like screaming, get it out of my house. <laughs> so, all right. It's all snakes to me. But anyways, and I always told the kids, just don't touch any snake, okay? I mean, unless you're an expert, don't touch them. <laughs> so anyways, all right, friends. I hope you enjoyed this. Come on back. I'll do the monthly. I pray your days blessed, creative, and lovely. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, again, this is DEKdesigns.com uh, Denim and Daisies Kit. If it is still, pardon me, offered in the shop, I will link it below. If not, I will always have the link to DEKdesigns.com as well as my discount code listed. And if you wouldn't mind, put in the comment box, K-R-I-S, that way they'll know I sent you and um, it just helps me a little bit. So I appreciate that and I appreciate all your support, guys. Um, we are really kind of needing it right now and I, I'm just so thankful for all of you. So, okay, friends, um, you guys have a great week and uh, tell me what you're growing in your garden down below. I'd love to hear all about it. Okay, guys, love you. Y'all take care. Pray your day's blessed, creative, and lovely. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, y'all.